A hearty welcome to all of you to the eighth episode of Stroke of Insight. Today, myself, Onik, and Shomalla will be the host for this session. Now, JUSC has been planning an episode dedicated to grade for quite some time since many students are genuinely in a dilemma of whether they should uh, do GATE or CAT or maybe do a job after their uh, UG life is over. On the top of that, almost every one of us know that how to prepare for such an exam while engaged in their coursework and internships. So we thought, why not engage the topper themselves on board and seek their guidance. This evening, we have with us some amazing folks, all from all of them from our own college. Firstly, we have Aratrika Chaudhuridi. She is from Chemical Engineering Department. Uh, she passed out in 2018, worked in Linde as a process engineer, and now is pursuing her MTech from IIT Bombay. Next, we have Amur Topalda, a student with an impeccable academic record who bagged an All India rank of three in Cape 2021. And last but not the least, Mul Khosroy, another brilliant senior of ours from the Metallurgy Department who bagged an All India rank of 200. So without further delay, I pass the mic to Shomarlo. Thanks. So, myself, Shomarlo Mitra. So, firstly, I would like to welcome everyone to this session of Stroke of Insight Chapter 8. This session is mainly dedicated, as Onik that made it clear, to get preparations, the pros and cons of it, and mainly beyond. So, firstly, I would like to congratulate all the speakers for today's session, Arathrikadi, Moyukda, and Amartada, for their stellar performance in GATE exam and holding the head of the university high. So, my first question would uh, basically revolve around the most common. Basically, it will revolve around the most common practice that uh, that it, it is that how and when to start the preparation for GATE. And can we prepare for GATE without opting for private coachings? Open to all three. Can you just give reply? Yeah, so shall I start? Yeah, yes. yeah. Any, yes, any, yes. Anyone, anyone. Anyone, anyone. Yeah. Okay, so like uh, coming to the point, like uh, when one should study, start st preparing for the GATE. So I would like to say that those are who are preparing for the first time, then eight to nine months is sufficient. And if you are a repeater, then I will say five to six months is sufficient because for gate, uh, you don't need to devote like eight to nine hours per day. So you only need to devote five to six hours is sufficient for that. So, yeah. Uh, Omortada, can you share your inputs regarding this? Yes, sure. So Basically, now the GATE exam can be given by both the third and the fourth year. So, the best time to study for start preparation for GATE will be the second year. So, I think, and as coming to the coaching aspect, I think taking coaching will always be better for any competitive exam because coaching gives you the right input as exactly what to prepare to excel in that particular field because every subject is vast and gate doesn't demand you to know everything from that subject you have to be specific and strategic and that only coaching institutes can help you out but if you are not in a position that is i mean you have financial constraint or any other constraint then you can at least collect the topas notes of some previous uh, gate exam topas in your specific fields and follow those notes that will help i think and uh, Moyukda, can you uh, give some uh, Good evening, everyone. So regarding the time for preparation of GATE, I think the uh, ideal time would be at the end of second year, like second year fourth sem. And uh, as far as I can say, in case of my department, no private coaching is actually required for preparation in GATE. Uh, I think uh, we can, uh, I think it is manageable by st studying yourself only. However, I would like to suggest that uh, taking an All India Test Series uh, right uh, two, uh, three to four months before the GATE examination would be beneficial. Well, uh, just, a, just a small request from our side. If uh, like three of you don't have any problem, could you like uh, turn on your cameras? It would be more lively, the session. Yeah, sure.
And meanwhile, this is for the audience. Like, if you have any questions during the presentation, please type them into the question box in your Gmeet control panel. We will surely bring them up during the present uh, webinar. And also, like, if we have time, you can ask them on your own. Okay. Fine. So, uh, like, uh, my second question comes uh, straight to Moyukda first. Like, you were telling about uh, the mock test series and also the All India test series. So, uh, Moyukda, like, how do you feel that uh, giving mock exams or this All India test are essential? Like, in the uh, way of time management or something and how to analyze our like preparation from the results how do we get to know that how much we are lagging behind or something okay regarding that uh, all india test is the most essential the benefit that you get from giving this all india test series is that well, one new aspect is introduced during gate exam like uh, getting acquainted with the virtual calculator so in GET, we uh, actually get many numerical based questions where uh, we have to actually use calculator. Like it's not that integer type answer questions. Many re require actual numeric value questions. So giving all India test series actually helps us to get acquainted with that uh, virtual calculator thing. And regarding what you asked about, how do we analyze from uh, after giving those all India test series, then I think after giving the test series, we should uh, actually focus on what parts of the subjects we are actually lagging behind, like which exact uh, course, uh, which exact part of the course, be it extractive metallurgy, like in my case, or any other part of the subject we have to focus. Then we also should have to uh, see that are we are we making more mistakes on the two marks questions or one marks questions? We have to see that. Uh, so uh, scoring as uh, scoring and accuracy is also very important like we have to be very accurate like ne the amount of negative marking should be very less during gate examination so these are the things which you have to keep in mind while giving examinations the amount uh, and accuracy uh, Arachikati, would you like to add something uh for chemical i think uh as per my opinion, there are not any standard test series which, like, which have questions which are yes. relevant uh, to gate curriculum or right. which are usually asked in gate. So still, I will say that people can opt for a test series because it helps you to get acquainted with virtual calculator, and also it's very important to adopt a strategy. Like under those three hours, I need to maximize my marks, right? So for that, I need to. Uh, have in mind i need to formalize a strategy prior to attempting the questions like what i did is that i always used to start with uh, attempting the aptitude section first like i tried to complete the aptitude section within first 15 minutes and then i jumped over to uh, one mark se uh, session within 20 to 30 minutes and then i did the two marks but it differs from individual to individual you will have to figure out that whether i should start with the two marks part or whether i should start with the one mark part so that it will help me to maximize my marks so yeah from this point of view i think attempting test series is very important also it also helps you to face new kind of questions although in gate chemical questions are repetitive same kind of questions are usually asked but usually you will face two to three new questions every year so like you will get accustomed to facing new questions if you like go for a test series thank you Arachika. the almost to that something that you wish to add more yes yes you should always go for as many number of test series as you can even if you haven't completed your entire uh, say suppose you take the subject and you haven't covered the entire thing of it but if you have idea of the basic only then you should always go for test series because you can get an idea of the pattern of questions that is coming actually so and also i would advise you to make short notes for every subject as you are giving the test series and you you have to identify the areas where you are being weak or the questions which you think are a bit out of the box that you have you are not comfortable with and you should always uh, enrich your short notes from time to time with those questions and it, it will it is actually a continuous learning process this great preparation and in the as you are appearing for the very first test series, you will see that you are getting very less marks. Like I used to get about four to five marks out of 25. So don't please, please don't get demotivated because of it. And gradually you will 
you will be doing well in the exam if you are following you are if you are improving day by day that is what i have to say uh so i want to tell like in the first part you tell that uh, yeah coaching is like necessary because it like uh, helps us to give a direction or something so like anything you wish to say like uh, any online resources or coaching materials that you can like refer to your juniors for their preparation actually you can uh, start in the net that uh, previous year topers notes also of so and so exam what you were appearing for and then there will there are, like for mechanical engineering there is for navin yadav notes you can follow that for other departments i don't know but you can follow navin yadav's notes for mechanical engineering the notes are very good okay okay thank you amrita da ara chika de anything for chemical uh, regarding the resources resources or the coaching or online any videos um, anything I personally I used to take coaching from BS sir people of chemical engineering will definitely know him but uh, I for me that uh, taking coaching is not that important you can self study also but uh, like you need to study from the proper resources I studied from uh, DS sir's notes and the standard textbooks and i also followed there is a website also there is a website called unitoperation.com right unitoperation.com yeah. we have all the question papers over there yeah, right? yeah. from yeah. 2000 yeah. to 2018 perhaps they have the questions yeah yeah and so like all the answers given there are not correct so but still i used to follow that and also there are also two books i think ram prasad and m subha i used to follow those two books those so helped me a lot you were for the pyq right for the pvs year question yes yes and also there were there were also subject wise questions in those two books uh, like arachika they just now you said that uh, self study can do right like if yeah. uh, we don't take any uh, coaching or such okay so like the main thing of self study is uh, like for the correct resources and we have to like what to say we have to um, like mug up the concepts first or we have to just go on practicing the questions and question like we did in our jee mains and wet jee days uh no like uh, you need to have a clear concept right for answering the questions so i will say that theory is important but don't go too deep inside the theoretical portion because ultimately you will have to answer the numerical questions so i will first suggest that follow standard textbooks gain a clear understanding of the concepts and after that then you dive into the questions totally give more stress to the like solving the question part so okay. that will help and and like other trick is just like related to chemical only and asking the questions that we face in our semesters okay for hmm. some particular subject that uh, too much subjective ones conceptual ones okay so like are they supposed to come in gate or are the concepts really important of that I don't think uh, that uh, no, like doing well in semester is separate thing, and doing well in gate is a totally different thing. They have right. not have any relation between them because it's entirely a theoretical part, right? Uh, regarding the semester yes. exam. Yes. Yes. Uh, in gate, what is important is speed and accuracy. That you will have to right. keep in mind. Right. Yeah. Okay, Moyukda, anything that you wish to add to this? uh yes uh, the thing you said that uh, uh, we have do we have to practice repeatedly like je exams or how do we get a actually test what questions do come in gate exactly so like that's like uh, in our university the papers uh, that we are like accustomed to and in the gate okay yes. they are a bit different uh, like when yes. i start from my gate also in my that's career, why i found out i would like to suggest that when uh, after uh, first you start studying for get but after two to three to four months of studying you start solving the previous year exams once you solve the previous year exams now you get a get a feel or pattern what what questions do actually come what portions are actually focused on the get examination like which are the portions which i have to focus on each and every subject so if you do the previous year get examination questions we will get an idea what questions do come and where exactly what to study where you will gradually get an idea so doing a previous year examination is very vital during get examination in any of the department not only mine in any of the department 
And like more than anything that you wish to add on the speed and the accuracy part, like do we need to set a time bar for while practicing the questions uh, even at our home also? In, uh, in my department, Netological Engineering, speed is not an important factor because we have mostly theoretical questions and some numerical, but it can be easily solvable by formulas. So it takes around two to two and a half hours to complete my set of papers, uh, get a, a metallurgy paper. So for me, I didn't feel that speed was a vital thing. I think for my if my paper, accuracy was more vital than speed. Like Arachika, they pointed out that in chemical speed and accuracy yes. are very important. Uh, now, I know, uh, what do you want to say for your paper? Yes, mechanical paper is less theory based and more numerical based. So yes, speed plays a very important role. Also, accuracy also plays a very important role, but I think speed wins in the mechanical paper. So you have to be very fast with your questions in analyzing the question paper, analyzing the easy questions fast and att attempting them. This way it goes. Okay, right, right. So now my next question will be basically revolving around the final year students. Basically, that uh, if we are in the final year, suppose we have to sit for the gate, and we are also the college placements knocking at the door. So my question uh, to Moyukda will be that how to balance between both placements and gate preparation, and uh, one does one have to generally sacrifice play like a good placement opportunity rather if we one has to do well for gate. Oh, Moyukda, your thoughts on this? Um, that depends on actually one's priority. What do you want to achieve? Do you want to actually ace the gate exam, or his job is also a priority for you? Like I'm telling you my my thing. Uh, my experience, uh, I uh, had get on February 14th and then I had job interview on February 16th. Okay, uh, right two days after gate examination. So I didn't actually uh, stress much on the uh, uh, take a job interview. I focused on gate and uh, after uh, two days I went to the technical exam also. But the thing is, because uh, I studied for GET, most of the technical aspects of the interview were covered by me. I was able to answer the technical uh, portions of the interview. So, and even I also secured the job also uh, later. So uh, that is once, if you have prepared uh, well enough, I think one portion of the job uh, would, would be covered. The technical aspects of the job would be covered. All you have to focus is the HR part and maybe the group discussion part. And that I think is manageable during placements season. And, uh, and Arachigadi, can you share some inputs on this question? Getting placements and get preparation. Like if you were aiming for both campus placements and gate, then I think if you are actually preparing for gate and aiming for core companies, then actually uh, your gate preparation will help for your code preparation, right? So ultimately you are studying this heat transfer, mass transfer, fluid mechanics. These kind of basic questions are asked in core interviews that I have seen. So uh, I have seen my friends that they are doing, they have placed, uh, they, have, they, have, they have been placed in good companies as well as they have done pretty good in gate exam also. And so this is the one part. And another part is coming to time management. So I have prepared GATE along with jobs. So I think that's a pretty difficult part. So if I can do, uh, I can prepare for GATE uh, along with a job, then I don't think it, it's that much difficult to prepare uh, for campus placements and GATE at the same time. You can manage both. And Amar Tadar, your inputs regarding how to balance both? So well, it depends on what you want to do. Do you want to go for higher studies or you want to go to a PSU to GATE? or you ultimately want to go for a job. So if you want to go for a job, then there is no harm in sitting for placement. Because actually what you see in the in our process of gate preparation, mostly we are studying the core subjects. And also there are two subjects that is engineering aptitude and engineering mathematics, which we are not devoting much time. So actually sitting for those placements, the aptitude round push us to practice aptitude and math and it actually helps in our great preparation. And also, sitting in job interviews, we are gaining new experiences. So there is no harm in gaining new experiences in our process of preparation. So I don't think uh, you should skip uh, the job interviews for your great preparation. You should always have a plan B, I think. 
Right, Amartya. So, like, uh, taking a few questions from the audience also, I could see a question from Shostak Kanjilal that how to compartmentalize my daily schedule involving internships, classes, and preparing for gate at the same time while being a third year fifth sem student. So, yeah, like, uh, maybe to cut it short, do you, what uh, like do you think uh, it is it it for a third year gate exam? Like, what advantages can we have in it? We can't have the PEC or recruitment or anything. We can just have a like an experience of how the paper is, and also like uh, another year to build up our preparations. Actually, you start, please. I think most PSUs have the criteria that you need to have a BTEC degree for appearing in the interviews. So, from a yes. PSU perspective, I don't think it is it is uh, that much relevant. But for experience purpose, you can always give in third year. Okay, actually. Uh, Mohit, anything? Well, I also have the same opinion that you, you will get a feel for the exam if you sit in third year, like how how much uh, how the time management aspect and the uh, getting acquainted with the atmosphere that using virtual calculators and that that is the only advantage you will get from third year. And if you actually ace the examination during third year, then there is a big load off also. Right. Almost to the what? Like, uh, or how do you suggest that? How can we like prepare a proper time schedule? Like with all our sessionals going on, lab classes going on in our third semester, like uh, third year. Sorry, because third year is like very vital for all the departments, and there's a whole lot of theory subjects along with the practicals. So how to just prepare a good timetable, and to set all things in a priority? Okay. So actually, this year it was a pandemic situation. So mostly classes were being held online. So I didn't face so much problem actually. Also the labs were not being held. But yes, my seniors have given gift and they are uh, being preparing along with all the college stuff. So uh, time management in the process of time management actually you can make a routine that you will devote your weekends for the gift and. In the weekdays, you will do all the lab assignments, the college assignments that you are getting. So it, it totally depends up up to you how you will manage. Okay, thank you, Amartya. Arachchi Kadhi, like, uh, what do you think about how should we approach the aptitude section and the engineering math section first? Like, which is common for all the subjects in G. Mm, whatever I did uh, was I had uh, I had a medicine book for aptitude, so I used to follow that. And also, I solved uh, the previous year questions from all the branches. So, also the uh, questions asking gate aptitude are pretty basic. I think they are not that much difficult. So, if you have the formula right, uh, so if you memorize the formula, I think it's not that difficult to answer that portion. And also, like for the engineering maths part, mm -hmm. like uh, there's a whole lot of formula, the problems that we did in our like semester, they were pretty huge. Okay, so like how. Uh, can you suggest like how can we like mug up the formulas or what type of tricks that can we use in the exam? I what I, what I did is that I analyzed the previous year questions and I noted that from these these topics the questions are frequently asked okay. and also, so I figure out those topics and I also noted down all the formula in a separate book. Okay. So whenever I just keep kept revising this formula, so it helped me a lot. Like for like, uh, for engineering math especially. So I kept uh, revisiting those questions every like every alternate weeks. So that helped me. Right. Thank you, Arachchi. Uh, regarding the engineering maths portion, uh, it, the engineering maths portion uh, of every paper varies with respect to the department. Like uh, in case of my paper, uh, I saw that uh, the probability and statistics part were more uh, more stressed. Like uh, questions were coming more frequently than uh, let's say other parts like lap application of Laplace transformations. Like they were not coming. So if we uh, uh, so if we can analyze the previous year papers, you will get a pattern like which of the following uh, portions of engineering maths are actually coming in the paper. 
that we, you can uh, actually analyze from uh, uh, from the previous year papers and that way you can actually uh, uh, cross out one two chapters from the engineering mass portion and then you can focus that takes a load off of you and also uh, if you practice uh, two two times or three times a week engineering maths it would be uh, easy for you to solve uh, no the crossing crossing out the chapters is totally neglecting it or just keeping it side like uh... you can totally neglect it you know you can totally neglect it like uh, uh, i'm telling you uh, i had never seen any application of non homogeneous differential equation in my paper or uh, complex number you have studied complex numbers right yes yes we had yes, yes. no no questions can come from complex numbers in case of my paper empty like you can totally cross out actually no questions was ever asked in the past uh, 10 15 years 15 to 20 years okay ma'am yeah. thanks and over to the for mechanical part okay so as i had mentioned that while you were giving your test series then you will be making short notes along with it and at the last stage of your preparation by the last stage of your preparation your short, your short notes will be well updated with all the concepts of engineering mathematics that you were facing in the exams and also if you practice the previous year questions then i think it won't be any problem at all in solving the math questions they are quite easy in case now my question to amartya would be that how to take how to firstly how to sit for test series and how to analyze the scores that after test series we get uh, some score and how to analyze them and make make way for the better so you just have to clear the basic concepts of every subject and appear for subject wise test subject wise test series first and then you have to identify the areas you are weak at and sometimes jot down some of the tough questions that you see in the test series in a separate copy you can keep for future reference those questions and continuously keep on revising that so my strategy was to continuously improve day by day so if you are following a routine of appearing for test series uh, twice in a week and continuously revising the questions that you had difficulty facing or you did mistake then i don't i will i think you will gradually uh, have a grasp for it ஆரோக்கிய <laughs> i haven't scored well in mass transfer if i uh, suppose that if i suppose uh, score do not uh, haven't score couldn't score well in a particular topic then i used to revise uh, the formula again and then again i go for the next test series so this way okay. i keep doing okay thanks didi for the inputs and uh, now let us go to a more department specific domain starting with amartya dana dada can you just share inputs regarding for get mechanical what are the important subjects that you have to cover and how to manage time for example if you have a very short time left so how to balance the subjects like which subjects to cover first which are the scoring subjects like that can you do such an analysis so uh, mostly the questions come from production part first of all most of the people of mechanical don't like to study because it is fast but it is the actually coding part of the gate exam most coding part you can see the questions are pretty easy so you have to first focus on production engineering then go for strength of material and then uh, thermodynamics and fluid mechanics if you are covering these four subjects then about 70% of your paper is done and the rest you can just uh, glance through the previous year papers and as i said collect some short notes of topers and that be what the uh, point what notes they had made and Yes, sir. and um, Mayukda for metallurgy. What are the subjects that you will like to go for? 
Yes, uh, I think uh, uh, one preference also varies from uh, the organizing institute which does. I think next year would be IIT Kharagpur. So if it is IIT Kharagpur, I would like you to focus on process uh, extractive metallurgy, the process metallurgy part, also the physical metallurgy part. And also I would uh, like to uh, advise that we uh, we should actually, uh, you should actually uh, they give a focus on thermodynamics and transport phenomena because a lot of people try to uh, go, 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 go past these subjects. So many numericals may come fr from thermodynamics and transport phenomena. So we, you should prepare very well. And uh, for this year, physical metallurgy and process metallurgy will get an uh, in emphasis in the questions. And uh, are, are regarding the chemical engineering subjects, uh, can you give some? Mm, I will uh, suggest to start with the major topics like fluid mechanics, heat transfer, mass transfer, thermo and control. These are the major subjects from which questions are relevant, uh, frequently asked. But I will not suggest to skip any subject because there are some subjects like chemical technology, mechanical operations, plant design and economics. They do not carry very huge weightage in gate exams. but since the questions asked from these uh, domains are factual, so you can answer these questions in like two to three seconds if you know the answer. And I have seen in GATE that even a two marks difference can create a huge difference in your rank. So I will not suggest to skip any specific subject to revise all the subjects and give equal importance to all subjects. And uh, RF Chikadi, like, uh, show my line taking over, please. Yeah. Uh, like electrically as you said that uh, fluid mechanics for example if we take the example of fluid mechanic like mm -hmm. uh what type of book should be followed like in uh like during a semester we all followed some books which had a whole lot of theoretical problems in it okay and then like mm -hmm. other uh, mechanical ones have a very good mcq book also on fluid mechanics they have different kinds of books so as to say so like what type of book should we follow for fluid mechanics and also for mass transfer because it is huge <laughs> as the syllabus goes mm, i have personally followed fox mcdonald's okay. so for the and there are also subjective questions uh, there are pretty well for uh clearing your concepts right. apart from that uh, i uh, followed ram prasad and Ensu book okay okay and uh, like same for the mass transfer part also same for all subjects like you can get all the questions in those two books like okay. all kind of gate questions are and, available and like for the chemtech part like we have to very much focus on that like it's totally theoretical apart from yeah, what we I, are taught I by PKB sir boring to, to start and yes. whatever uh, like PKB sir uh, taught us and, and also we are the, the, the energy engineering part that part also no, energy engineering is not important, okay. right? But PKB sir uh, taught us purely from uh, for clearing our concept. But in gate, the questions are purely factual. You will ha just have to memorize. You will have to even if it is boring, I can get it. But you will have to do that. So I uh, studied from Dryden. I made Dryden, online right. notes of my. Uh, also, there is on online notes available. So if you search in Google, you can find it. So I followed th those two things for okay. preparing for chemtech. Okay. And like Arat now coming to a very important question. Okay. Like uh, many of the juniors were also curious to know from you, like after like walking in Linde. Okay. So like, uh, what did it like come to your mind? Then uh, suddenly pursue a MTech from IIT Bombay and not just after immediately after graduation or something. Uh, honestly, the domain where uh, in Linde, like it is purely related to cryogenics, right? So if I okay. wanted to switch later, and there are very few companies I can switch to. Okay. And apart from that, I saw that also while I was in Linde, that Praxier and Linde also merged. So like there are very few com competitors in the domain. And right. so I decided or also I wanted to go for either research and development sectors or oil and gas. So I wanted to go for it. Okay. So like after doing your MTech, so there is any wish of continuing for PhD or something. I just going back to the industry. I haven't decided that yet, but uh, I am yet to figure that out. But now I am looking for placements only. Okay, okay. Thank you, Anat Chikati. Uh, Mohukda, so like, uh, are you waiting for the PECUs now? Um, I have actually received an offer from IIT Delhi 
in material engineering uh, just a few days ago so i have that offer and also i have a job as an incoming gt at vedanta limited that's great uh, i also have that so my uh, i am looking that uh, where should i go yeah, at mtech or at vedanta limited or else i would actually uh, sit again for the gate exam okay okay and okay. how much are you about what uh, like uh, are you like prepare waiting for the pc recruitment or you are about to join company or pursue mtech something so i got placed in gas authority of india limited from college placement mission that's so, huge so i have actually got a psc so i am trying to join it but the you know the gate for it is valid for 3 years so yes hope the what happens i may be okay. so like uh, you are like uh, now determined to join gale only nothing else comes in your mind yes yes getting a good placement the high status of the department i can <laughs> okay okay now my question will now specifically target to amrita dana that uh, generally people of the electrical engineering civil engineering and mechanical engineering have uh, have a scope of sitting for engineering services examinations or the ec examinations uh, so amrita dana can you give some inputs regarding that because it was a question many juniors were eager to know regarding the ec examinations and how to prepare for them so for the ec examination the syllabus is almost double of what you have studying in the gate examination and also you have to study other subjects like uh, environmental science and also you have to study uh, other different uh, subjects different from your engineering fields actually which are collectively called as general studies we have a separate paper for that in the prelims exam so if you are willing to uh, take that burden and study for those you can actually go for it and of course ec is a very prestigious job it is a pure central government job and you are becoming a class one class a officer of the government so definitely it is good but uh, now the railway board has removed this seat from the engineering service examination due to it for me it has lost its major charm actually because most of the psu guys actually sit for the esc exam only to get into the indian railways and after it has stopped recruiting so esc doesn't hold uh, so much importance now according to me so psus are better now and uh, another question that uh, that was coming that that if someone uh, attempts get in the third year so how for three years it will be valid so if someone get uh, attempts a get gets a good score uh, and perhaps the score is equal, equal to the rank is equivalent for getting a chance in the iits so can after clearing his degree he can join getting this question yes sure sure that is the if you can do well in the third year that is the biggest advantage you have actually secured a seat for yourself in iit mt in top i top iit so that is an added advantage and you can focus on other aspects from the on and focus more on placements and on projects in the final year okay right uh moyuda like uh, could you uh, share some insight on how did your interview in iit the leaven like it was totally conceptual the question no no, are... no 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 i had no interview it was without interview it, it was without yep like, it was like without. this was it was because of the this covid scenario or something uh no so as uh, some uh, some of the departments iit delhi directly selects on the basis of gate score and some okay. departments they interview conduct interviews so uh, okay. i was directly selected for me with my gate score. okay Okay, Mukta. Uh, Arachikadi, like uh, there are many questions from the chemical people. Like, what to do? Like, if uh, like someone is really interested in a job, okay, and like uh, also he or she gets a good score in the uh, gate examination. So, like, whether like doing a job after graduation helps in the long run, and then like joining for a masters. Like, if he or she is determined to stay in the industry or something. so if he wants to go for if he or she wants to go for mtech then whatever i have seen that having a job experience helps in placement but it's not mandatory to have a experience so it's totally depends on you 
that I, I personally uh, wanted to gain an experience in cryogenics and then go for MTech. But it's not mandatory. If you want, you can go for, uh, in the fourth year itself, you can go for MTech after okay. completing BTech. And Aratikati, like, how did you manage like uh, doing a job on one hand and then preparing for a gate and then coming up with a very good rank? Like, how was the journey? If you could just brief a little bit. Mm. So, like, my office hours were from uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So, like, I have very little time left for preparation throughout the day. So, I always made a weekly schedule and monthly schedule ahead that. And I tried to stick to that schedule that I will complete this this topic within this week. And by the weekend, I will revise this portion. I met that sure. Okay. So usually what I did that usually in the, I used to wake up in the morning, like early in the morning. So I uh, like I made a short. I previously mentioned that I made have made a short notes of all the subjects. right? Yes. So since it was concise, like two to three page. So while revising for a subject, it uh, took me around half an hour. So that saved a huge amount of time. So I kept the morning time for revision purpose. And like after returning back from office, I was very tired. So I used to keep that time for like uh, solving subject wise test. Like I used to attempt small subject wise test or attempt some questions. In this way, I prepared throughout the week. And in the weekend, I used to dedicate eight to nine hours. I tried to compensate uh, for the time I didn't uh, give for the throughout the week. So I revised everything. I attempted three hour uh, tests, long test in the weekends. And I revised as uh, I revised to the best of my capabilities in the weekends. I tried to utilize it as much as possible. So this is what right. I did. And in the last two months, uh, that was a pretty difficult part for me. Because last two months gets pretty serious from a preparation point of view, especially in January, I had taken a leave from my company for 15 to 20 days. So, yeah. yeah. That Otherwise, like, it would have been very difficult for you yeah, yeah. at the last minute. Yeah. Right. And also, like, Arachikati, as you were uh, speaking about the short notes, okay. So, mm -hmm. it was like the notes were made on a particular concept or a, like, or a chapter or the on the entire topic. No, no. It's like... Suppose uh, if I want to study mass transfer, okay. I I jotted down all the formulas from all the subject from all the topics from within the two topics, to right. three pages. Okay. So that whenever so when I am revising for the first time, I am starting I am starting from theory from scratch, right? right. So I did not uh, need not uh, start from scratch every second or third time because in gate you need to keep revising like two to three times. Uh, or more than that. So you can't devote too much time for a particular subject. Right. So like I made all the formulas in one place. So right. I just kept revisiting those. Okay, so uh, just like uh, uh, keeping the formulas on one side and anything like any, uh, are there any type of like uh, small facts or something that also needs to be like noted nah, yeah. down? Yeah, 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 like the factual things. Factual okay. things plus the formulas. Okay, okay. Thanks, Arachikati. Uh, Omotoda, first, like, there was a question I saw in the chat for you only. Like, does the production part contain maximum questions from statistics? Omotoda, your input. No, no statistics is, in, is involved in the production part. Purely it is uh, numerical based and uh, simple mathematics. No statistics involved. Okay. And uh, Amatada, like uh, for your part also, like uh, the numericals uh, were too much length or how could the like uh, once uh, tackle the numerical part? Like in mechanical, we always see in strength of materials and everything, there are a uh, lot of calculations and a lot of equations to deal with that thing. So if you are uh, well first with the formula, then by seeing the question, you can get an idea as what formula to apply a stroke of a second so it won't be much problem once you identify how to go about the problem and then just you have to uh, use the virtual calculator to the best of its effect and you have to actually practice using the calculators beforehand while giving the test series. I have seen many of many of the students uh, taking test series but they are not using the virtual calculators they are using the normal calculators so that is a very bad practice I would suggest you to use the virtual calculators in the test series also. If you are well, you can operate the virtual calculator well, then it won't be of any any problem. 
Okay. And uh, Murugda, like for uh, your subject, uh, like uh, many uh, have a like idea that metallurgy is too much about theory and very less numericals or something. So like if we just focus on the theoretical part, okay. So like uh, how did you manage? Like if it was so much theoretical and if it was so much factual, then like the questions on which part and like uh, making short notes and how? If you could just um, regarding that, it's too much theoretical and less numerical. It's not that the, there are a great amount of numericals also in GATE exam. Like if you think that uh, most of it will be numeric, uh, theoretical and less numerical, it's not like that. The numericals which come have formulas and are easy to calculate. Actually, the the numericals in my section are easy to calculate, so it can be done uh, enough. Uh, it won't take long. And uh, regarding that, uh, it's too much theory. I would like to suggest that see the previous year papers and see that what exactly are uh, they are asking. Most gate mostly ask application based question, like application of the materials in that application of materials in the field of uh, engineering, like okay. which material is used to make what particular component. You have to know these kind of things. Also, uh, also uh, the things that which process is used, which of the process parameters uh, required uh, for uh, the definite extraction process. We have to remember that. So focus on those things. Don't go too deep. Uh, don't go too deep into the matter. Just uh, focus on the application aspects of the theory. Focus on the application aspects with what actually is required in industry or actual processes which are going on. That's the main main point of uh, scoring in the data examination. Well, as for okay. and uh, now, Arathi uh, I would like to ask you that as you told that you were interested for placements after pursuing your MTech. So, Didi, uh, how much does uh, work experience matter for MTech placements? That is after placement. Uh, uh, the companies usually because in MTech is a uh, like research oriented domain, right? So, like the companies which come for placements usually look for candidates uh, those, uh, who have practical experiences. So, like it's always have an advantage to have practical experiences, but it's not like that only people with work experience will get placed in a good company. People without any experiences are, are also get placed in good companies. So, it's not mandatory. Especially the core companies, the non-core companies, all of them like uh, they look whatever qualities they look out for is that if you have a good POR uh, in your uh, M Tech, uh, in your B Tech, and also if you have done your master's thesis properly, so that they look. And also, what is the uh, application of your master's thesis uh, relevant to to their job profile? So these are the things they look out for. So like, yeah, work experience is one part, but it's not everything. Thanks for the input. Uh, and uh, Moyukda, can you share some inputs regarding what are the opportunities available? For example, if you do well in gate in metallurgy, a department specific question that if you do well in gate and as well as if you do well in gate, obviously there is an opportunity for MDEC in IITs. But, and if you do very well uh, in case of PSUs, uh, there are many opportunities uh, for job in PSUs like sale. Uh, sale uh, is a very good part. Then uh, other PSUs like HAL, BARC also recruit, BARC recruit directly uh, the top 20 scorers in GATE for interview. Yeah, you can get uh, that opportunity. And also uh, some other PSUs like NALCO and other uh, government other government undertaking extraction industries, they they recruit through gate. So the the opportunities for, for PSUs are many uh, in case of my department, and there is also the scope for MTech. MTech in IIT Bombay and I, IIT Bombay especially is very good. Uh, in case of my in metallurgical and material engineering, so if you are post MTech, uh, you can get good placements also. And now, as the questions uh, that we had have, have been mostly covered, so now I would request someone from the audience uh, to ask the questions in a disciplined manner. And if you have questions, first uh, switch on your audio and then ask to our speakers. Thank you.
okay before that can i say one thing one yes, guy, yes, uh, propulsion propulsion in chat asked a question that he has a high power of minus six to um, in left eye and minus five in right so uh, i want to stress that uh, in psus the especially in core companies the limit of power is minus six to plus six and uh, some of the core companies which come to recruit in our company uh, they sometimes have a power limit of minus four so try not to increase your power above minus six because it would it might lead to rejection in psus above minus six or uh, some companies uh, don't even allow minus six like uh, minus four is the limit so be very careful uh, uh, to control your eyesight if it's about minus five to minus six don't try to increase it beyond that thanks Mugda, for being for clearing this the question and anyone from the audience right we have around 90 or people so can someone please uh, ask the question if you have done hello, hello yes you are being audible before go, for, go ahead it's good evening good evening everybody i just want to ask uh, to the seniors that uh, sh should i do the engineering mathematics portion at first uh, when i will start the preparation or i must uh, do the technical portion first and then go to the uh, mathematics portion uh, like uh, anyone of you can answer or actually you can start with not an issue. Uh, for chemical engineering, the questions asked from engineering mathematics part is very easy. So I will suggest to start with the core subjects first and then keep engineering mathematics uh, for the like after completing the core subjects, then go for engineering mathematics. It will not take that much time. And now, what that? Can you share the input? First of all, you must be doing the core subjects. Then engineering mathematics and aptitude because course subject you will be get, getting more confidence in the exam if you are finishing the course subject first and if you are doing engineering mathematics first and if you are having a time crunch then most about 50 percent of your time will be given to that and then you will be at a loss for what subject to study for the course so better to do the course subjects first and then go for that. Your views on this? Uh, I see that you're from electrical circuital department. I don't know how much uh, uh, our preparation would match with your preparation non-circuit. We are from non-circuital department. But if I if I may talk about from my department's perspective, uh, starting engineering mathematics from third year first sem is more than enough. Uh, from third year first sem, uh, uh, first focus on the technical questions. And uh, more questions required from the audience, right? Please go ahead and ask the question. Uh, hello. You are being audible. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, uh, how the revision plan is uh, should be scheduled? Actually, after uh, one week or two week, uh, we are actually forgetting the uh, contents we already studied. So, how to solve this problem? Can I say? Yeah, yeah, I want to that. So, as I have always said, that you will you have to make short notes from time to time. If you, if you are finishing a particular subject, then appearing for test series, then you have to make short notes with the formulas and important points which you are finding difficult while appearing for those test series. And also, if you think some concept is being repeated many times, then you should jot it down in your copy. The short notes would be of uh, maximum 10 pages for each subject and after some time you don't have to go through the entire subject and only revising the short notes will be enough. So that way you can do it, no problem. Mugda, anything you wish to add? I would like to suggest that uh, in the seven days uh, which uh, you are studying, try to incorporate uh, try to design your time schedule in such a way that uh, most of the all the subjects which are in gate all the portion uh, at least one or two topics from each portion is covered like 
uh, you should not actually focus on uh, two uh, two 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 portions uh, two subjects uh, in one week you should uh, try to incorporate uh, all the subjects uh, in your syllabus uh, all the topics uh, in your syllabus uh, from time to time so make it a, a little diverse make your time to your time schedule diverse like don't focus on one portion only focus on uh, the more than one subjects in the week the time schedule which you make Arachika, mm -hmm. they adding to this, like uh, if, like, uh, say, for our uh, chemical department only, if someone has a problem of uh, not understanding in the classes, okay, the like the core topic, like should he or she go for the lectures in NPTEL or like he or she uh, just uh, learn to study the concepts by reading a book? Which one is preferable, or is it like individual based? Okay, so I first start, uh, try to clear my concepts from standard books. So if that doesn't help, I used to go to uh, NPTEL or YouTube or there are also uh, plenty of free lectures available on an academy. So okay. I used to follow those. So that helped me. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, now I am I will ask a question out of completely from my curiosity that to Arachikadi that how as I am from chemical engineering department, how helpful are, are our departmental professors regarding if someone asks them, Madam or sir, please help me in this or and how will I and can you help? Uh, like in Jadavpur? Yes, yes. Do they really help? or For gate preparation? Yes. Uh, if Not like that. If I go to them for some doubt, how will they help? Uh, I, actually, I haven't approached uh, any of my professors in JU. So I can't answer this one. <laughs> Moyubda, you? If you had any experience of such? Um, regarding my um, in my department, my professors, uh, the uh, actual faculty, current faculty, did not actually their their teaching did not even help a little bit in uh, my preparation. Uh, but uh, the, the guest faculties, uh, there were two guest faculties, one who taught thermo and other. Uh, uh, who taught uh, casting uh, and foundry principles? Those uh, the, the lectures of those professors actually helped. And the funny part is, most people get supply from those professors only, but their notes actually <laughs> help. Okay. The, their notes actually helped me in my gate preparation. So I would like to uh, whoever in metallurgy department, please follow DG sir's notes and PK sir if you have the opportunity to have a course on that. Amutada for your department. So in fact, the gate exam is basically MCQ based, and what you what questions you are getting in the semester are basically subjective questions, which are more suited to the EAC main standard. So uh, I don't think the college uh, faculty what they teach is not very much helping in the gate preparation. For that, as I said, you can uh, collect some. Uh, Notes, short notes from the topers or any website available, or the best you can do is to join a coaching institute. Uh, anyone okay. from the audience? Uh, uh, like, like before that, uh, uh, just let me ask a question. Like, if anyone is interested to like uh, pursue further studies, say MTech or PhD, like it is advisable for that person to like uh, brag an internship in a company or to do some research internship. Altogether, if you may start. Mm, if you want to go for like uh, purely like uh, MTech or you go to go want to go for PhD in future, yes. I will suggest to go for a research based internships. That helps. Okay, okay like uh, and uh, suppose if someone uh, does any research based work in any, in any company also, maybe yeah, uh, that slightly helps. that will help, that right? Helps. Okay, well, Mohita, for your uh, department metallurgy, does it hold uh, the same? Research inter it's not necessary to have a research internship in order to pursue MTech. Yeah, okay. However, if you want to have a job, like in case of PSUs and such, then I think you should have a industrial inter internship, industrial training, okay. and you should actually have a good knowledge of what you're doing. Like the project you are doing, you have a good, you should have a good knowledge, like because during the interviews they will directly ask you from the project or training which you have done. Like the first thing they will ask is, uh, so tell me something about your training, what process. So you have must have a good knowledge of the industrial like training. Like what we have done actually. Yes, 
actually over there based on your response the further questions they will ask it will depend on it based on your response okay. how you is how confident you respond to it okay and try to answer correctly because if you answer something incorrectly they would try to they would actually then ask Get the, the question right. yep okay i want to that so you see i didn't have any research intensive or industry intensive so Actually, in this COVID situation, the companies won't be pressing you too much about internships. They know that you can't. Uh, it is a lockdown situation, and many have have not been able to do the internship. What you have to focus is on the final year projects that you are doing. You have to do it very uh, with very good dedication and have a good knowledge of it. And you can just speak so that you can speak a lot about it in your interview. So, I in my case. Uh, uh, in the panel, a question was asked that uh, do, uh, uh, that in the Gale interview, that is, they had asked me a question that you had, I think you had sat for many interviews previously, then why didn't you get selected? What is the reason you think? I told them, frankly, that since it is a pandemic situation and since I, uh, and due to this, I couldn't do any internship and that, and that they accepted. So, do you... Yeah, there is no need to have any intensive as such. Like you, you were just being true to yourself. Okay. Exactly. Uh, Arathrigadi, I just see a question from Prothush, one of our juniors. If you could address this. Okay, let me see. Uh, I that I have already said that study from standard textbooks. Like for fluid, I have followed. Fox McDonald's and for makeup I have followed McKip Smith. So first see the gate syllabus, figure out the topics and study strictly those topics from the standard textbooks. And if you can't understand anything, then only go to NPTEL. Don't study everything from NPTEL. That will kill a lot of time. So yeah. Yeah, like like the videos are too long. Too long and they're also slow. Yes. Uh, I guess almost the uh, question for you. It's from our own, from your department. So it not necessarily to cover the entire topic at the very first go. You can just have an overview of the topic and just sit for test series. You can you actually, by giving the test series, you will get an idea of what questions are actually coming from that. And likewise, you can proceed. So there is no hard and fast rule that you have to complete the entire uh, syllabus of that particular subject and then only appear for the test series. And also, you have asked that. Uh, and you can complete any subject you like first, not necessarily thermo or some, whatever you like, you can just complete it. You, you have, you, it is a self-paced preparation and you can do whatever you like. Well, thank you, Amartya. I guess the question of Orkojit has already been answered, like uh, the giving test series and coaching institute. Like Arachikadi, for example, said one coaching institute. Morukha and Amartya, any such coaching institutes for like your streams to suggest for? Anyone? Uh, the first. For coaching institute, I think only taking all India test series makes sense in case of my department. That you can take from Test Yourself for career avenues. Test Yourself provides very good all India test series. It's actually uh, very uh, very helpful uh, for get examination. Like they make questions uh, specifically very well designed for get examination. And I don't think taking coaching class lessons is important in case of my department. Uh, I can't tell anything about mechanical. I think Omoto will tell that. Omoto, that please. For mechanical, this coaching institute is undoubtedly made easy and no one can compete with it. For test series, you can go for medici test series as well as ecstatic test series. Both, uh, both test, I took both of those tests in my way of preparation. Uh, well. Uh, well, I see an interesting question from Prabhalarakrikadei. 
please. You go first with this question. You have too many experiences of interviews, Linda and then IIT Bombay. Uh, so if you don't know that topic at all, then I think it is important to stay true to the interviewer. It is preferable to be honest and tell the interviewer that you don't know that topic at all. But if you have a slight idea of it, then you can suggest the interviewer that you are trying to answer this question and then go for it. I'm sure the interviewer also, most of the time I have faced that interviewer also gives hints so that you can have an idea or you can develop an idea to answer that question. Uh, Mohita? Um, if you don't know a topic, uh, try not to say, say anything outlandish or uh, don't say anything rubbish. Because if you say something which doesn't make sense, they would actually catch it and uh, they would then, tra for, then trap you totally. So if you don't know something, I think it's better to say, sir, I don't know something. Uh, can we do uh, another question? Well, that sounds pretty logical. Uh, anyone having any questions? Yeah, before. Okay. Well, this is too much specific. Any but one of you may answer. Concerned to the electrical department, right? So uh, when the electrical department it is conducted. For before's question, that was more concerned. Can someone from the audience again ask? Right. Yeah. Hello, I am Sundu Vera from Chemical Engineering Department, third year, from Somalos batch. So my question is to Aratika Dej, uh, and I am I am I am preparing for great exam, and my question is that uh, what is the minimum rank we should have uh, to get into uh, more than PSU? So. Uh, like I can answer for general category. So if you are aiming for IOCL, then I will say under AIR 50 is good. Then you are safe. And for other PSUs like Gale, ONGC, I think under AIR 100 is good. Because in Gale and ONGC, uh, interview also plays a very important role apart from your gate rank. But in IOCL, I think they give maximum, they usually gives maximum weightage to gate rank only. So, yeah. Thank you. Arshika, like, uh, could you just add something to the interviews, like, of these uh, PSUs after GATE? Like, uh, these are from our, like, four years of UG, and all these are very much conceptual, right? All application based. Mm. Is it? Uh, I have faced only one PSU interview. I have okay. uh, for ISL only. So, I have seen that they ask very basic questions. Like they have asked me, what is the principle of cooling tower? What is uh, say root number, need number? And they, I also had done internships in RCF. So they asked me that what I have done in RCF. Uh, these things that they usually ask about your internships. If you have done internship in, uh, in an oil and gas company, they will ask about that also. And if you, usually they ask about your favorite subject. And then they ask the fundamental questions from your favorite subject. That's okay. it. They don't go that much deep. Okay, okay. And uh, Arachika, I see another question from Shion. Would you like to answer? Uh, I guess he's from chemical department only. Department specific very much. Okay. Uh, I think uh, from third year, you get an idea uh, of the, that you get an idea of your core curriculum, right? So I would suggest to go to, uh, go for gate study from third year only and study with the major topics that I have mentioned that if you see the gate question papers, figure out like from which topics the questions are have carry more weightage and start with those topics. Uh, well, uh, I guess Mohukda, you can answer Abu Rahan's question. He's from your department. Okay. Abu Rahan, your question. <clears throat> okay. Uh, if you are, uh, if you want to actually give a uh, get in 2022, then my advice would be to focus on extractive metallurgy and physical metallurgy first. However, if you are, uh, if you want to focus, uh, if you want to give exam on 23, then I would suggest focus on mechanical and physical metallurgy first because this time the emphasis would be on extractive metallurgy and physical metallurgy. However, don't completely ignore mechanical metallurgy. Uh, you. you However, if you want to give it this year, I say that you start mechanical metallurgy a little bit later. 
Well, okay, I guess that answers uh, Abu Rahan's question. Uh, Amutad, I see there are some questions lined up for you. Shomil Boni got something. Can can someone tell me what will be actually in the demo? What to focus? If you are so it depends on from which university you want to pursue your aerospace engineering. So if you want to uh, do it from some foreign universities, then you should try to explore more on that topic, do some projects under some props and get recommendations. And if you want to do it from IIT without any recommendation, then you should focus on the get syllabus more. And the second one, Shura Kumar Shaha, it was not the situation help you student. Yes, it definitely helped me in securing a job in Gale. I had my conscious very clear. Which area should be focused on what to do? Okay. So they will basically ask you about your uh, internship if you have done anything and then you, they will ask you your favorite subject. And in this context I want to mention that so Gale is a gas company. So you don't have to necessarily say that your interest areas are thermodynamics, heat transfer, or fluid mechanics. Like I said, that my interest areas are strength of materials and engineering mechanics, and they will ask questions from that only. That is, you don't have to uh, uh, specifically answer company specific, uh, you don't have to mention them company specific subjects only. You can just say what you like, and they will just question you from there only. No, well, thank you, Amutada. So I guess we are towards the end. So before like ending with this, uh, Arachrikadi, may you start if like any general suggestion to the juniors who will be sitting for gate uh, this year? Anikta, before that, I have a question, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, Shomalo, please, please. Sorry I for think, that. Also to Arachrikadi, Arachrikadi, can you just give in general what the marks versus rank, the matrix for IITs, that how, how much rank or... Like the okay. rank versus I college, that is that matrix. Uh, for IIT Bombay, I think under 150 rank for general category. And for IIT Madras, it's uh, around 200 to 250, I think. And for IIT Kanpur, I have seen like it where people with even 500, 600 rank are getting. Both IIT Kanpur and Kharagpur. Well, thanks, Didi. Well, the and, same uh, question for Murugda, I guess. Murugda, yes. Uh, for PS, for PSUs, you have to uh, attain a rank below 50 in case of metallurgy because most of the weightage is on gate score. So below 50, you would uh, get a call for interview and uh, then the interview is 15% weightage for PSUs. And for IITs, uh, 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 200 to 500, you can obtain IIT Kharagpur. Uh, 100 to 200 IIT Kanpur it's uh, easily will get uh, 100 to 150 IIT Madras below 100 IIT Bombay and what tells IIT IIT Delhi uh, Delhi you would get 0 to 200 I myself obtained IIT Delhi 200 right? well thank you uh, if uh, like from the audience anyone having any more questions Mm, I hope all the questions are covered. Yeah. So, Anitrikadi, anything general that you wish to suggest for your juniors taking GATE uh, this year? So, those who are sitting for GATE, I would like to suggest that. So, every competitive exam is like a marathon. It's not a race. So, your journey will be full of up and downs. It will be not be linear. So, just don't get demotivated. Even if you are getting low marks, just try to figure out wherever where, what mistakes you are making and try to improve yourself. So yeah, and it's very important to be confident and keep yourself calm during the exam. That plays a huge role in the D-Day, right? So so these are the two things I would like to suggest. Just stay true to yourself and keep preparing and working hard. All the best. Thank you, Anachikadi. Amartada? So I would like to add only one thing that you must stop all your preparations one day before the exam. 
that is all that you have to study all short notes that you have to revise you can just finish everything one day before the exam and that day before the exam you should just meditate and do some uh, concentration exercises and so that you don't get pressurized enough in appearing for the final d day competitive examination keeping a cool mind is very important and it i think it adds to about 50% of your success so keeping a free mind is the most necessary thing for the exam i think well and moyukta uh, yeah my general advice would be to keep your preparation slow and steady uh there is a, it's not as difficult as the joint entrances which we have given uh, keep your preparation slow and steady and uh, uh try to uh, and the last uh, t- for three to four months before get is the most vital time make sure to uh, keep your um, uh, have your revisions uh, very strong keep your rev- revisions very strong around that time and have a very good health like in my case i got in i got covid just two months before examination so you have a very good health uh, i'm saying that don't get yourself sick and for uh, the second years or first years uh, set your priorities right like uh, if you want to pursue mtech or have a job at psu then only opt for get otherwise uh, focus on the other aspects which you are interested in set your priorities uh, very 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 clear well uh so then it was a great session i guess and uh, thank you everyone thank you aratrika di moyukda namurtada we appreciate you being here and thanks again everyone for joining us today and we'll see you next time thank you yes so it was a very engaging session and perhaps the juniors have also have a good time and perhaps uh, the seniors aratrika di namurtada and moyukda have also had a great time and yeah we flooded them with questions actually yes, yes that's <laughs> and perhaps in future we will be able to organize more such sessions like this and for yes. now it's a wrap many of the questions but as have been answered during the course of the webinar so for today it's a wrap thank you everyone thank you everyone thank you thank you